and I'm back at it with the 6.5 Rendell again. Going to give it another shot with these 120 grain spirit gold dots tonight. I might just not be pushing them hard enough, fast enough to get the desired results. But let's see how they do tonight. This is the first property. I'm standing here in the rain. It's raining. Not a lot of fun. Thank goodness these pulsars do kind of cut through the humidity pretty well. And you see right here, I've actually didn't realize it, but I've got a chance at two different twofers. And I'm going to go ahead and let those ones go by. And once I realize what's going on, I'm going to try to take a shot here just as one hog crosses in front of the other and see if I can't get that twofer back. But I'm at 63 yards, so let's see how this bullet does. Oh, sh You know, I pride myself on not losing a lot of hogs. And at this point, I've ended up losing two out of the five that I've hit fairly well. Let's take a look at this first hog. You can see that it was a 140 pound boar, but there's quite a bit of blood loss. This one actually did as I'd hoped from the bullet. You can see where the bullet entered just right there at the base of the skull where it meets the neck. And it looks like, and it felt like, it clipped the bottom of the spine since I was shooting slightly uphill towards it and actually ended up angling back down, breaking the spine and exiting after taking out the circulatory system. And here we have a good hole. I managed to actually stick a stick into the hole. This is textbook. So what happened to the twofer? Well, this is the last frame before the shot. And the bullet obviously had passed through this hog, striking the hog behind it somewhere in the lower neck region. That hog managed to make it off the property. Who knows what happened to it, but it was not recovered. And here's the last frame before the shot broke on this running hog that was not recovered. The lead looks good. And you can actually see right here where the bullet was exiting somewhere on the high neck just behind the skull. I'm guessing that this is probably right about where the bullet hit. It did not transfer enough energy to break the spine, and this hog was not recovered. I ended up going on to another property where I came across quite a few hogs, and I had abysmal results. So I'm not going to say that the Spear Gold Dot is a bad bullet. It can certainly do the trick, and I'm sure that certain people have had wonderful experiences with it. It just hasn't been my case, so I will no longer be utilizing them. And I have also falsely attributed the failure in my magazines to Duramags. No, it was ASC magazines, and with a brand new magazine, I ended up having another double feed that time. So I'm just going to go ahead and leave that entire iteration out. But that was it for my night, and I hope you have a wonderful day.